If you are following my videos about my new system, you'll find a link here and also in the description below. You already know that I have a node where I consolidate all my family documents and that that node is part of my shortcuts. The plan today is share with you an updated version of a video uh, that I published a long time ago showing you how I organized my documents in Evernote, how this documents system work in my Evernote. For that, we'll use my second account and of course, uh, no real documents, no real dates, <laughs> no real numbers. Okay, let's take a look at it. In the past, I would have a notebook for each family member and all those notebooks inside a stack. I now have a single notebook, a family notebook, and you soon understand why I changed everything. So let's go to the family notebook and here we already have the documents uh, note, the one that consolidates everything. And this note is a shortcut, add to shortcuts. So it's the second item here. This is just a matter of preference. This is how I, I like it. And it also has a pen. So this is pen to this notebook. This will make this note be the first note in case I decide to open the family notebook. One thing you notice here is that I created several different paths to get to the document. The idea is that I will always be able to get to, uh, to find a document no matter the path I choose. So the first thing I did was move all the documents from those other notebooks into this one. But since this is not a real account, we have to create some of them here. So for example, let's create here ID. And one thing I do here is add my name. Again, I'm just creating multiple ways to know what that note is and to get to that note. And don't worry, I won't drag you through the creation of all the documents. I just want to show you what I'm doing. So this is, uh, uh, this in a real account would be the, the real document. I scan of that document. And then here, this is my name and documents. Okay. One thing you might be asking is why I choose the plural word documents instead of document. Well, this is just, again, a matter of preference. It's something, if I click on the tag, it will show me documents, a list of documents, not a single document, okay? I forgot to do one thing here. Every document that has a number and expiration date will have the, that information uh, in the title. I, I, I don't add the, the exact date, just a year. Again, all these details that I'm adding everywhere are here to make the information available no matter how I get to the document. You, you soon see that the many path to that document. So from here now, if I need to filter my documents, I can just type my name and I have a list of my documents. But why I'm adding the tag documents if almost maybe all the notes here are documents. The thing is, one day this document will expire and I'll move it to the timeline. And when I move it to the timeline, I want to know that that is a document. I may need to filter all the documents I have in the timeline. If we don't know what the timeline is, <laughs> you have to watch the other videos. Okay, now let's create the note where I consolidate everything. So first thing I do is create a, a, a heading here. For example, this is the larger heading. But in my case, there is a specific situation. I was born in Brazil and I live in Portugal. So I have documents from Brazil and Portugal and to be honest, from other countries too. <laughs> I, I, I moved around a little bit. Okay, let's add a bullet item. One option here would be simply drag the title, the note into the list. That will work if I click here 
I'll go to that node. But I don't want this because I want to have access to the number. Many times, all we want is to copy and paste the number. So this will not work. Again, this is up to each one of you. But in my case, I know that I need the numbers a lot. So that's why I spent a little time organizing things in a way that it would be easier to copy and paste the number. So this is what I did. ID, uh, the number of the ID in her case is 321. And then you can come here, right click, copy internally. You, of course, you can use this crazy shortcut here if you can memorize it. <laughs> and then I would select only the name of the document. You can use common K on Mac. I think it's control K on Windows, not sure. And paste it. If you don't want to use the shortcut, just use this little chain here. And now I have both. I have the number that I can copy and paste somewhere. Or let's say I need to go to the document to send that document to someone. I have access to the document. This is more like how it looks in real life in my real account. Uh, the emojis are here to make it easier to find the information. But I took some liberties here. For example, uh, my passport is from Brazil, but I rarely access the documents from Brazil. So what I did is I added a passport here because I can then collapse this. So the same thing here. And collapse this. This is a relatively new feature that wasn't available when I recorded the first video. And as you can see, it can be very helpful. Uh, I also added here my dog. And there is also a, a heading for the couple, simply because there are some documents that belongs to both of us. For example, a marriage certificate. Now, there are two last steps here. The first one is pin this to home. Because although we don't have easy access to home on our mobile devices anymore, I still use Evernote Home when I'm on a desktop. I use it a lot. So we'll replace this subscribe one here. But please, subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. So let's go to home. And now, if I'm here, I have access to that. And as you can see from here, I can highlight the document number, copy and paste it anywhere I need to paste that number. Again, it's all about having many ways to get to the information. As for why I replaced multiple notebooks with a single one, it has everything to do with the note consolidating all the information. It is so good that I was never going to the notebooks. And with the tags, I can filter them in the family notebook. OK, let's talk about the last step here. But before that, this note, my real note, has many more items. It goes beyond documents. There's a lot of information that I, I, I added to this note, but this video was already too long. So I created a companion video. If you are a Patreon or a YouTube member, you'll find a link uh, in the description below. OK, the last item is go to Evernote on your mobile device. If you use a, a, a tablet and a phone, you, you should do it on both. Go to Evernote, go to the family notebook. This is another uh, detail. Before, I had to remember to make all the notebooks offline. Now it's only one notebook. It simplifies things. So go to the notebook or the notebooks and tap the three dots at the upper right corner and turn on the available offline option. This will download all the documents, all the information of that notebook to your device. That might take a while depending on the number and size of the documents, but do that. This is how you always have access to the documents, even if you don't have an online connection. That's it for this one. If you found it helpful, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you like what I do here in the channel, please subscribe. It helps a lot. Thanks for watching. See you soon.